right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sotko here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about the Verge coin mining attack that has been going on for a good while now, and the developers have failed to stop it. I think they tried once or twice already and unsuccessfully. So basically what's going on is somebody has figured out how to exploit Verge coin mining. In the article here it says that Verge were stolen by the attackers. Uh, but I wouldn't really use that word. I would use more like exploiting mind it, is, if that's a term. Um, so uh, I'll get into those details in just a moment. We'll read the article for now. Uh, supposedly 250,000 Verge have been mined by these hackers, but I have heard higher numbers, more like a million or so. So the details will work themselves out sooner or later here of the exact amount. There's not going to be any kind of rollback or anything like that. So it's not being stolen from exchanges, just uh, exploiting in terms of mining. So Verge, a privacy coin famed for the zealotry of its community, has fallen prey to a 51% attack. A malevolent miner gained majority control of the network hash rate a feat that makes it possible for controlling entity to modify transactions, calling the in integrity of the entire blockchain into question. Around 250,000 Verge were stolen by the attacker, forcing the project team to prepare, prepare a hard fork. So the accident-prone altcoin has another bad day. On Wednesday, April 4th, OC Miner, a regular poster on the Bitcoin Talk forum, announced that Verge was experiencing a 51% attack. A bug in the altcoin's code enabled the attacker to spoof timestamps with uh, apparently with their CC miner program and caused uh, each new block to be produced using the same algorithm. So usually a different algorithm must be used for each block to prevent any single miner or pool of miners from controlling the uh, verge hash rate. The verge community aren't known for their tolerance of negative stories and soon they would piled into the Bitcoin thread to dismiss the fake news and FUD. One fanboy mused, the timing of this attack seems highly suspicious. Is it possible that it was not an individual, but an anti-crypto governmental organization that fears the huge deal that Verge is making? Way too much of a coincidence here. I've said for months that all it takes is one huge legit deal with an Amazon PayPal class company and the market will quadruple overnight. So I'm not so sure about that, uh, but, um, so basically the way that Verge operates is that it is a multi-algorithm. So this person put it pretty well. So usually to sex successfully mine Verge, uh, every next block must be a different algorithm. So for example, script, then X17, then Lyra. So that was interesting. Um, so Verge is sort of a multi algorithm coin that you mine but more of like a sequential mining coin so every time a new block has to be found it has to be found on a different algorithm so using a number of exploits in the xvg code the attacker was able to mine multiple blocks one second apart all performed using the script algorithm a feat which ought to have been impossible the attack relented after three hours but by the time the attacker had confirmed hundreds of blocks making a rollback of the blockchain necessary to undergo the damage uh, lead Verge developer Justin posted an emergency commit to temporarily fix the problem and was successful, but only at the second attempt. So a hard fork will now be initiated to remedy the matter once and for all. So it did seem like those attacks stopped for a little while, and then I read that they continued. Uh, so once, the, once a post was made, they stopped for a while, and then I heard that it continued. So we'll get into that in a second, too. So Verge's problems may only be just beginning, though. The attacker taunted the team in a forum post, writing, Hey, Verge team, get some real developers and fix your code. We have found two, uh, another two exploits which, which can make quick hashes as well. To compound the misery, at least one Verge holder was then fooled by a Twitter scam, explaining, I visited some hours ago the official Verge Twitter profile to read the news about the hash hack. While reading the tweet, I noticed several messages offering a compensation for the attack by Verge. Send X Ethereum and you get some bonus back. Sounded legit to me as it was affiliated to the hash attack. And I suffered from it as well, having some bat some hours. Only orphan blocks on all my buy calls. Hence, I fall victim to this scam on the official Twitter page. Don't do that. Don't fall for those scams. Those have been going on for a long time now. If somebody says that you're going to send them Ethereum and you'll get more Ethereum in return or Litecoin or any coin, that's a scam. I thought people knew that by now. 
Um, so this is uh, the the hacks here, but I'll show I'll show you guys a, a little bit uh, a little bit better one. And you'll get to see how how much is actually being taken. So 51% attacks are ultra rare. While often theorized, 51% attacks are extremely rare. To control the majority of Bitcoin's hash rate, for example, an attacker would require over 14 exa hashes of power, which would be all but impossible. Altcoins have a much lower hash rate. But even so, it is unusual to witness such an attack in the wild. Interestingly, another proof of work coin, Electronium, is believed to have succumbed to a 51% attack just three days ago. Reports are surfacing that the Electronium 51% attack has since resumed, with the same entity behind the Verge attack believed to be responsible. So, uh, I'm glad I stopped mining Electronium, to be totally honest, because uh, that coin, uh, at the moment and in the future, I don't believe it's going anywhere. Um, I'm still holding on to my Electronium, just in case, but uh, honestly, I'm pretty bearish on Electronium. Rohan Stone, founder of cryptocurrency mining uh, firm AlterChain, explains, Proof-of-work coins such as Verge are secured via decentralized consensus. So this attack is a great example of what is possible when a single entity has enough hash power to create their own consensus. The fact that the XVG code base had a fairly significant bug just made it easier for the attacker to pull this off. This problem? What problem? In typical fashion, the Verge team tried to play down the severity of the attack, tweeting, We had a small hash attack that lasted about three hours earlier this morning. It's been cleared up now. I'm sure it has. We'll be implementing even more redundancy checks for things of this nature in the future. And so on the Bitcoin talk forum, the damage control exercise was cranked higher still, with a Verge team member disingenuously writing, We're kind of glad this happened and that it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Verge also tried to shut down discussion of the minor incident in its Telegram channel, Reality was nothing of the sort. All Verge wallets are out of sync as the blockchain snapshot is stuck at block um, some big number and had a fork is imminent. Verge claimed that around 250,000 were stolen by the rogue miner. Bis dissenters have claimed as many as 3.9 million coins have been taken. Uh, so again, stolen is not really the word. I guess you could say that. Um, and taken is also not really the word I would use just mined by the hackers um, in a malicious way. <clears throat> so stolen, maybe, I guess, because, you know, that should have been going out to all the people. So, eh, semantics. One forum member wrote, based on what I see from the dev posting here, it's apparent that if OC Miner had never brought uh, this to everyone's attention, the Verge team would have never admitted to or disclosed what happened. Trying to downplay or being flippant about the severity here is just pissing on the Verge faithful. A Verge developer tried to shrug off the magnitude of the attack, protesting how much Ethereum has been stolen this year. This is insignificant in contrast. Well, all right. So as you can see here, uh, within uh, the day or two here, Verge has uh, went way, way down, quite frankly. Uh, so Verge is down 16% in the last 24 hours. Wednesday's attack only tempered by anticipation of a big announcement on April 16th that caused Verge to double in the price last week. In 2018 alone, Verge has shrugged off piracy, uh, privacy leaks, Twitter being hacked, developer doxxed, the embarrassment of having its beg a community for $3 million, and now a 51% attack. The rest of the cryptocurrency world may be laughing, but Verge's true believers remain unfazed. So I'm not, uh, I'm not that big of a believer in Verge. Um, actually kind of a pain to mine. Uh, quite frankly, uh, every time I've tried to set it up, it just um, doesn't work that great, and I don't really make a lot from it, so... Uh, not too worried about it on my end, but I know a lot of people are really into Verge. So here we go. Um, this is a bit better here. This is a, a link to the blockchain info of Verge, and it just goes to show how much has been taken by these uh, hackers, if you will. So you can see, like, every... Um, well, every few seconds here... Uh, a new block is being found. So it's very rapidly finding blocks from uh, the Verge uh, the Verge mining program. So you can see only two recipients. Um, and whether or not... Um, well, it's updating a little bit now. So, um, so it used to be just all one on here. So it's updating a little bit. But they're basically finding 50,000, 91,000, 65,000 blocks... Uh, sort of like every second these miners were mining away on this and uh, it did update a little bit so I think that has gone away on me now it's I guess it's a dynamic updating system so that's pretty cool 
but it sort of ruined the video just a little bit there, but that's okay, you guys get the point. Uh, basically, they're just one recipient for all of these, and they were just receiving an unbelievable amount, um, and even just two recipients for the amount of hash going on here uh, is still showing um, the attacks. So posted here for reference as the topic self-moderate, and this will probably get deleted. There's currently a 51% attack going on an XVG with exploits, a bug, and retarding, retargeting <laughs> the XVG code. Usually to successfully mine, every block must be a different algorithm. Due to several bugs in the Verge code, you can exploit this feature by mining blocks with a spoofed time span stamp. Ooh, talking is getting hard. When you submit a mined block as a malicious miner or pool, you simply set a false timestamp to this block one hour ago, and then XVG will then think that the last block mined on that algorithm was one hour ago. Your next block, the subsequent block, will then have the correct time. And since it's already an hour ago, at least that is what the network thinks, it will allow this block to be added to the main chain as well. So you can just continuously use script and likely uh, ASIC miners running script to continuously overpower the network <clears throat> and make it think that it uh, it's an hour behind and that if it was an hour ago and it found <clears throat> excuse me and it found a uh, a block on script it's going to allow another block to be found on script and then it's just going to do this over and over and over and you just keep exploiting it so that's not too good uh, so then somebody said hey huge spike in price and there kind of was a little spike here just this little guy you mean this little guy over here I wouldn't worry about that little guy and it was already going back down. Whoop. So that would that was pretty short-lived. Um, so as you can see here, the uh, Verge Reddit is uh, kind of on fire. Any idea what's happening now? What are the effects? Supernova pool claims 51%. Um, so if you are trying to mine a Verge coin right now, I would just stop doing that for a day or two. Who knows how long it'll take for this to clear up because with these hackers, you're not gonna be finding much at all. And everybody sort of noticed this when they were like, hey, where's my Verge coin? I'm not finding anything. I wonder where it's all going. Well, it's going to these people. So with millions upon possibly millions of Verge uh, being, um, I guess, hack mined, which is kind of a weird thing, which doesn't happen particularly often uh, in the crypto world, although it has, um, you know, these people are set to make quite a bit of money while Verge is only five cents, you know, million dollars. What was that like $50,000 or something like that? Um, so not too bad of a haul. And if they got like three or four million coins, well, they're looking at quite a bit. And likely the ver all that Verge is going to be sold off in a pretty tremendous chunk, I would, I would imagine, or multiple chunks. Uh, they might wait a little while to sell it off. Um, so that they don't get caught completely in the blockchain. But um, uh, we will likely see a dip at some point in Verge. Uh, it might start to go back up once this is all over with, and then people kind of start to realize, uh, you know, everything's cool now. Um, and then these, these hackers will end up selling off a large portion of Verge. Um, millions, to be quite frank. Um, and yes, there's, there's 14 billion uh, Verge circulating around, so it's not going to be too big, but likely there's going to be a dip when it's sold off. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys are just switching your miners to something else for a day or two. Not too big of a deal. And I will see you guys next time.